I'm Clint Grover with Never Done Industries, and today we're going to talk about the new tires we put on the EcoBoost. They're the Les Schwab brand open range all terrain tires. Alright, so it was time for some new tires on the EcoBoost, and I'm a big fan of the Toyo. Uh, for this particular vehicle, uh, I was going to go with the uh, Toyo Open Country All-Terrain Tire uh, because we live out in the country and we need something that's going to be able to handle multiple different types of terrain. So I uh, commonly use Les Schwab for my tires. I uh, know they're not paying for me for this, but I'm open to payment if they want to. Anyway, I commonly use Les Schwab for tires. Um, and I went in there to pick up some Toyos and they didn't have them. They said that they were kind of trying to phase them out because they came out with a new tire, their store brand, uh, and it's called the Open Range. Uh, after a quick look at these Open Range tires, I concluded that they basically are the freaking Toyos. I don't know if they're actually built by Toyo or not, but I'll tell you right now, they're very, very, very similar. They have a soft compound. They have almost the same tread design. They do have a little bit more siping than the Toyo does, uh, but I'll bet you that they're almost exactly the same if you set them side by side. Anyway, so we ended up putting them on the EcoBoost, and because we are in Idaho uh, and it's springtime right now, uh, it has rained twice, once for 42 days and now for 38 so far. Uh, that's a joke. Anyway, so wet traction is very important. And the tires that we had were the Goodyear Wranglers. Uh, and their wet traction wasn't very good. When we'd get into uh, deep puddles and things like that, we had some issues with hydroplaning. And we also had some issues, sometimes they would grab on one side and really pull hard into the puddle. So that was a problem. And they were noisy as hell. Uh, these uh, open range by Les Schwab tires, uh, as you can see, I'm driving in the rain right now. Uh, we've gone through, uh, we've, gone, we've done some highway driving, now we're doing some back road driving. We've gone over good roads, crappy roads. Uh, we've gone through some deep puddles, we've done it at speed. Here's a video of that. And these tires are handling beautifully. Not only do they ride very well, uh, but they're also very quiet, which is something I cannot say for the good years. They were kind of noisy. Uh, but they are handling the rain exquisitely. We go through a puddle, they don't yank, pull, they don't float, they walk right through it like it's nothing. There's very, very little water resistance as we pull through. Uh, we have really good traction all the way through, really good handling characteristic on this tire. Uh, and out the sides, uh, typically on a lesser tire, when you go through a puddle, there's a giant splash or like a mud tire like what's on the Super Duty. Uh, these ones aren't doing that. These ones are just kind of, I guess, cutting through the water is really the best way to describe it. And so uh, I guess that if I were going to give a review on the wet traction of this tire, I would say it is a 5 out of 5 and it is freaking excellent. And I'm very, very, very impressed. So... We will have to stay tuned for some other testing. We'll test it in snow, we'll test it on gravel and dirt, uh, we'll test it in some mud, and we will see how they do. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.